whether Limitless is still aiming to be uh, a staple name this season or playing a little more of a rebuild. I think the only guy that wouldn't be on the chopping block is Poseidon, especially with how inexperienced he is and how good he's looked. That's why you keep your eye on him. Yeah, and not like North America has a bountiful selection of offers to go around at this level of play either. So having a player who's already putting his best foot forwards in a league like this, this early on is definitely going to look good for him. As we do get this one underway, it's the CT side start for Limitless as might find themselves onto the attack. Two sets of utility already bought up. Nifty and DJ, they're going to be the ones sending the rest of the troops into the bomb site. Looking to it's going to be towards A. Oh. Might are going to try to kick this one off with one hell of a bang, or at least they thought. They slow it down at the very last turtle, and they're about to walk into three ready-to-go defenders, actually. There's four here now that I look again. So I have no idea how successful this is about to be, but as the utility will fly in, I guess the answer will soon be made clear. And they go. One at the pillar. Dane has support from Poseidon down low, who won't be mauling it out, and neither will Dane himself, as he's able to swing wide with ease. Poseidon with a double and a third, as the right side of the pillar is under lock by him just the same. He might have gotten the oh. third. The fourth is all the more beautiful. There he is. The man to watch, and we see him in kind in the first round. I mean, like, it's, it's insane, right? Poetic. Because it's not even just today. Yesterday, we're like, oh, yeah, automatics, the guy to watch. Very first round, he gets a 3K. Like... <laughs> Like, there's there's clearly some argument to be made here, but that's nice. I mean, that last shot was not easy whatsoever. It was a nice, clean one tap. I don't even want to, like, say it was some miraculous hole by Limitless. It wasn't bad. It was just drastically outclassed by how insane Poseidon was that round. This one we go with MP9. Not in the hands of the Alper, but the other players trying to save up that cash flow for him. They won't be buying it anytime soon, because might. My... Gonna be playing with one either. They're gonna be playing very, very conservatively in this one. As Poseidon actually kind of has to keep his wits about him, not this M4. Dane already strikes the first. Trying to rebound in another area of the map is going to be not so easy for Might. I say that, or the clocks can just absolutely train down two at the top side of mid. Guns under the floor, not able to be picked up. Dance with the Deeg. Player is already dead. What more damage can be done? That was actually a crazy alliteration on accident. It was, it was a little flashy for the Glocks, and hey, you know what? You shouldn't, you shouldn't expose yourself like that. Sometimes you just take the wins that are given to you. That wasn't an accident. You totally intended to. Yeah. But what I can't say is intended is a 3K from Dan's here. Look, I mean, I talked him up. I said, if there's a guy to watch on Mike, he's the one. But uh, this, this is probably a little out of the pay grade. Dane, good stuff, holds it down in the anti-eco. But, I mean, still, hey, look, that's that's a good sign. We talked, uh, I think, actually, you, you literally mentioned outside of Poseidon, the next person in line that you kind of want to see start to step up is somebody like Dane. Maybe he's coming to life a little bit. Crap. Throw the guns around a little bit here, and as those last two rounds were good enough, keeping two bodies... Down from might is going to be nice. Puts a little bit of extra cash into their pockets, and they can really do anything they so please in this round in terms of map control. So that's going to be something that really bodes well in the early stages of this one. As the op is not able to zone off any portion of the map, it's going to be heads up aim duels with the rifles. Zay main is need to claim. It's Dane who actually walks through. He's going to pull himself back eventually. Is they're going to have to do the same in mid after that smoke does fade. But for the time being, that is a lot of time wasted off the clock for might. Yeah. And this is, this is one thing that we kind of saw get the better of them against NRG. It was really just timing, right? They would take so long to go into these site executes. Even sometimes they'd have man advantages, utility advantages, weapon advantages. But it's just, you know, one thing goes awry. One thing goes unaccounted for. And the whole thing goes kaputs. But still plenty left as there's a minute to play with. And a lot of utility to go alongside that. The gearing up outside B. Pretty basic stuff. Map controls given to them. But the snack is still read well for Limitless. Even without this information, whether it's a read, whether it's pure luck, doesn't really matter. It's here and might have to go through it. Dan's, he may be the first taking contact, but there's going to be a lot of firepower behind him. Limitless have the read. No control in mid. They've got three players directly into the v bomb site. And they want to retake a little bit of V-Box control before they actually be made. And as they do, the kills are good enough. But will they be able to stand tall for rotate? Mello, one oh, literally all no! it takes. But DJ's better placed. Headshot. Mellow is no longer, as they've got room to plant this bomb. There's no way that Grape can slide into this site before Dane gets closer to Evox side to be able to support. And as he does no take way. this fight, 
It's Scar, who now doubles with DJ, but both are still just as low as before. Dane, is he going to be aware of the fact that both of them could be here first? Seen Gunbear oh! spotted under the next, and the transition is there. Seven kills, and he comes to life in the third. Again, it's exactly the guy you want to see. And it's not even the HE. That was the thing I assume you were about to allude to. The fact that they're both low. He had an HE. You bink it into the corner. They're both gone without a semblance of a fight. And this is such a catch-22 kind of round. Because the stack was read well. The first two kills come in. The trades aren't there. And the spacing gets sent out of whack for might. But... You can't commit to that peak from behind the pillar if you're doomed because you have to buy time for your teammates to rotate in. You may be saying, why didn't he take that fight? Why did he wait so long? It's a damned if you do, damned if you don't. You swing out, you're getting traded. Now your teammates don't have time and they have way better positioning on a post plan or the inverse, which is that. Either way, seems to work out well for Limitless. And while the money isn't there, it seems the rounds are. And look at Grape. I don't think they heard this. Walking up mid 50 still ready. Spotting him out with no kill taken. It's map control and info given away. Wow, this is, this is a solid chunk of time taken off the oh block once again for Might. And Dangerous has spotted nobody at the top side, but once that flash comes over, they are more likely than not going to drop down. Dangerous is flushed. And already spotting more and more. He can waste another 18 seconds for them. It's just a continuous cycle of utility drop onto the floor outside a main. And it's going to do them a whole hell of a lot of good before we might actually get into a position to execute because all five are here. There's no other way to go, but if Dane falls with nothing, things get hairy and he will get his one as well as be able to get out of dodge. It's not even just that. It's nade for bonus damage. It's a smoke to stop them. Their initial read goes wrong. Look at how much they've lost for it. There are 50 seconds left. They're barely in canals. They have two smokes and are down a man. This is the problem Might had yesterday, and I love that Limitless are exploiting this right now. Lined up and ready. They have not evacuated the bomb site in the slightest. Still playing as confidently as they need to, seeing as they have two to. versus four effectively when they come in. The retake should be more than manageable with the players as close as they are to the site after the fact. Dane isn't able to find his Doom needs to stay alive at the pillar. Actually trying to find a multi, not stopping the peaks, and that might be his undoing, but Grape is there in time with an MP9 to slot over the top of the smoke. Good vision denied from Nifty, though, is the rest of it, and as the smoke Dude. of heaven does fade, it's great. Along with the rest of Limitless, who seem very eager and hungry to disrespect any of these Might players in these man-up scenarios, and I don't know if I hate it. I kind of wonder if they watched that NRG game, because this looks very similar in some of these CT plays, right? Is that just me? It almost feels like a lot of the aggressions and the timings they're taking are almost bar mm -hmm. for bar with what we saw NRG doing yesterday, and it worked insanely well. Yeah. 100%. I guess, like, the A main pressure they just take in there is very reminiscent of the mid-control that the automatic rinse yeah. that we're taking on Mirage. Oh my god, and they even they even stopped the rush. Decided in a triple? One through a smoke? Dude, this is... This is looking superb from Limitless right now. 5-0 going through rifles even without utility and artillery advantage. Shutting down anti-ecos, already taking the pistol... Everything's on the up and up. Stocks for Limitless are going through the roof right now. And guess what? Poseidon's got that up. So things have gotten worse. You know it. It's not a very good day. He might right now. Two players on zero kills. That is a weird feeling five rounds in. Right. But... The matter as Poseidon's off is ready to trade out. Mello dies for the cause. I'm not sure what good it'll do as Doom loses his head towards A. That's a really easy bomb site, and it smells more than ever. But the elbow of the show is great to at least inflict a little bit of damage before things go south. Border Dane can't even get a single line. Snake suit in the grass slithers fast to try and get into that side of cake and as he does uh, the rest of the Hold team on. is in tow and great what more can you do yeah nothing anymore oh, wait no wait what Poseidon got the kill through a smoke this round has drastically changed because of that one kill and one kill alone both remaining players low the mid flank's gone look at the health right now of might there is 25 in total they made it for a little bit of I'm chip saving? damage but they're feeling so worried so pressured nifty has to hit this shot on the platform it's make or break oh. flash 
Perfect shots off a of timing. Grape's gonna swing wide. No, nobody decides. See, finally they spot DJ behind the boxes. He hits his shot and decides to take Poseidon with him. On 20 health, he has just saved Might in a round. They had no business being close in. What more can be done by the op there? One bullet was all that was needed from the AK. Great, unable to connect onto a singular one. That box is spammable. It would have taken nothing more than a 30 bullet spray down with Poseidon to cover his side, but it wasn't going to be the case. And it falls short of a round that would have been spectacular to pull out from what was a two versus four effectively. The post plant for Might goes about as good as you could have expected, all things considered. I think it was all unconfirmed damage, right? Because you got to remember that, that was that was all of uh, if, I, if I believe Kerr, if I'm remembering correctly, DJ got that damage or that kill in con. So essentially, he wasn't ever really traded out. The only damage he took was sitting in a Molotov that limitless threw at the start of the round. They aren't gonna know number one if that's still him because it's probably not in your mind in that very last part of the round. But number two, even if you did, you don't know how low he is, right? So it's just such a it's such a hard spot to be in. Even after all the heroism of Poseidon there, like, dude, the fact that he sniffs out that mid flank from Scar is ridiculous. Yeah. But then he goes on to almost win them the round. I mean, there's just so many things that, that should have gone wrong. Listen, at least we know he's warm. Right. Thing does bode well. A round you won't often see where he'll find that many kills and then still not manage to win out onto the round, but we'll see if everyone else can start to Slowly pick up the pace, as certainly Dane has. It's an off round, but now might have all this money. And all this ground is no up for Poseidon this time. Could that come back to bite them as the B site is looking susceptible? It's looking soft, and they're looking to barrel in. With the Deagle lining the charge for the first contact, my faith isn't set too high. However, they're not going to have dance on this exec. Instead, he's accidentally mauled himself off, and that was really no way. Around, I think Mello needed to get a multi, couldn't line them up. The only trade back is a desperate one from Grave, and he's going to call it a day with that. I mean, you got way more than you should have. And this round kind of lived on a prayer for Limitless. Again, Mello finds that multi, and there is literally no trade potential. That's one of those multis that you can maybe get that's kind of feasible. But the point is, I don't like the Molly from Dan's. It kind of feels disorganized from Mike, especially after you find that kill in connector it it pretty much completely relieved mellow's worry and the reason i'm putting a lot of emphasis on this is because we see these um these disjointed ideas come back to hurt Mike in rounds that they should not be losing case in point the last round where they yeah they did win but it comes down to a two on two with 25 health where dj does something that may never be done again like that was around they shouldn't have even been close in, and the same thing could be said here. Dance, the only player on Might who has to reinvest into this one, won't hurt their pockets all too much, but the two guns saved cannot be met with much of anything from Limitless right now. They're going to have to take a seat as their loss bonus continues to accumulate now in the next round to three, should they lose here. The two guns can still, at the very least, deal some damage. That's going to be priority numero uno. If they can retrieve the AWP of Nifty, even better, but... Considered they've got themselves over towards this A site where there are bodies awaiting them, so they might be able to find something as Grape takes charge, takes the lead at the front side of A with the one, one two rifles. But the flash gonna come through from the CTs in a moment it shall, and as it's expended, what more can he do? How much farther in can he go? Oh! And it's a double. Hold on, AK onto the floor. Someone can upgrade and might. This is not looking good. And Dane's not even gonna bother sticking around. Just follow away. Let them have this map control. It, the ball is in Knight's court at this point. But the next to overextend may be a fatal mistake. Poseidon gets a little too uneasy with the lack of information for a period of time. Now Grape stuck in the depths of A main with no assistance and half HP. Things aren't looking great for him. But on the inverse, they've done good damage on Nifty. The bomb carrier, the one even planting it. Now a sneeze away from death, and while the retake's gonna come through, there's a lot missing, even though they have a man up. Mello picked up some utility. He can send them in with the AKs and try and get this damage done, or unless they just body up and try and trade through, as Nifty's off is now gonna have to do a whole hell of a lot of non low HP. You can't really expect more than anything, but hey, played onto that flank, a really nice pincer maneuver, as the heavens are not as safe as they might believe, might fall. And on this round where they only had those two rifles, it's great to kick it all off and get them those guns for the take well on them. And they even get the off back for Poseidon. Like, again, oh, it's yeah. just, 
it's it's amazing stuff for Limitless. These That's rounds they're winning round. are so convincing. The rounds they're losing are so close. Not exactly what you would expect out of Limitless. But, well, it seems ruder than it was intended to be, but the point is... You were kind of mean. Be a lot more competitive. Yeah, I'm sorry. That was that was rude. Unbelievable, honestly. But you like to see. It's definitely a, a game of cat and mouse in terms of where side of might really like to go and limitless like to chase. Is that round it was right back through a main. I like to see them loop back and forth around this map as a, almost as if it's given up to them for free towards the end stages of it. No chance of them to get into E-Box, might. They now have themselves squared up and teed towards A once again. And the op is nearby. Poseidon is going to be a threat. And a potent one at that. Especially if they're allowed to go and dry here, Anthrim. This is a rare opportunity for Might. Usually they've taken a lot of trouble going in. I, I don't even know how that happened. I think he stood in a Molotov that he thought maybe was extinguished because of that heaven smoke. But I, again, I really don't like this for Might. Like, look how long they're taking to get in on this execute. Yeah, they're still going to get in before the smokes fade. That's fine. But now there's going to be some backup power a lot closer. Scar trying to take some entry blood. Instead, Dan steals it away from him. Now he activates and it's a three on five. Poseidon, second too slow. And sent out of the round means Limitless are probably calling this a save, even with some extra bonus cash moving into the following round. Yeah. It's just a lost cause. Dane starting so low in that bombsite take was never really going to be able to do him any favors. It was always yeah. going to be a hard ask for him to be able to do anything, and Poseidon has just left it an even more sticky situation at that point, feeling like the pressure is on him to be able to find that opening pick. But the flashbangs in tandem with that smoke force him into an unwinnable position, and the timing is just aren't in his favor from then on out. Great. He goes through that smoke, and as Poseidon does make his way back over towards heaven, in expectation of somebody elevating themselves, he gets shot in the side of the head after Grape dies, and he has to pay more attention to camera. It's an all-around unfortunate turn of events for Limitless, but a really nice way for Might to get into that site with little to no hitches. But I also think at this point, Limitless are still kicking it back on easy streets. Around, it kind of sucks to lose, and I'm sure they're going to make an adjustment, but... They're up 6-3, right? You're, you're going into the side of favoritism with an amazing half result nonetheless, regardless of the end. And I don't think it ends here. I think they pull the off back out, they snap back into their senses. But the one thing I would like to see is a little more mobility out of Poseidon when it comes to the op. We have seen him mobile around the map, but with the op, it's been rather static. That's what I would like to see change. And here, it still seems like more of the same. It's a 50-50 on this map, sure, but my, it always feels like there's an answer to get away from this op, and this is the one they're taking. There isn't going to be a lot of respect shown. This is just going to be a pop. Nico, not able to the hold is great. Who does what he can? AK-47 spray lost. Exactly, rain it back in. Now allowed to get that bomb down. In this timer, as it begins to tick, they've got DJ already so far pressed up and spawned. And Poseidon is not going to be aware of it at all. An adjustment that looked like it might have been able to connect for a split second. He was given the opportunity, but it's now save or a fight in with no money left into the pockets of any of the other Limitless members. Looks like DJ is not going to allow him to do even that and take his damage. From then on out, they're just going to let him secede. No real reason to go running him through. It's going to really come to matter all too much. Two guns in the last round we had seen them upset. Maybe something can be done there. But this one M4, yeah, I don't really think that they're going to be sweating that all too much. You know, when was the last time we saw Limitless take something? Last time what, sorry? We saw Limitless take something. Because it feels something. like... It, it feels oh, like these wise. past couple of rounds, right? It feels like the last time, or these last couple of rounds, has pretty much just been Mike popping into sites. And this isn't really a map that you can be willy-nilly rotating on, which it's hard because it was working at the beginning. It was doing them pretty well, but we started to see them play a lot more hands off. But there's, there's a couple of problems with that. With no disrespect, men, it, it kind of feels like some of these defaults for like site defense and, and keeping might at bay when the utility comes through aren't really all that great. And alongside that, the rotations aren't really all that convincing or convinced to begin with. Like, You'll see Utility thrown case in point two rounds ago where Mike went in A after a delay. And there wasn't ever really a movement. There wasn't ever really a rotation or a second player to come through by the time all of the stuff went on. And 
there's a lot of ways you can put blame on that, whether it's, you know, not having faith when the calls come through, whether it's not calling in time, whether it's not having great setups or, or defenses on protocol. But point is, it's kind of all the same thing. We're not really seeing them take space anymore, which worked really well. Here, I think that's going to change is Doom and Dane look to go into canals and nobody's holding this. This is exactly what you were talking about. This is what I wanted to touch upon. The late round re-aggression is something that has been really good for them previously now as they know that they're gearing up towards that oh, aim. Right. They'd love to do it time and time again. The dink is good. Unconfirmed damage now made known as that dink is audible. Rape has to fall out. But the rest are on the back foot, on the back lines. They've cleared out mid. They've flushed it through and dances on the case. He smells them coming in from the rear and it's stinky. It's that first, but nothing more than that. The off needs to stay alive. This pillar is the HG for Mello is still in play. He's actually made his way back to his hero in the top side of heaven. It'll be Grape and Mello to fall both at the hands of that AK-47 from Scars beside him. Can only create the same as we've seen so many times before in these last three or four rounds. It's maybe DJ to once again put a dampening on that. Just an unfortunate round for Limitless, really. Why we talk about advantages in rounds like this and why they're so crucial because might they they never really had to worry about counter utility coming through in a bite like this but for momentum reasons limitless i feel like they kind of need this round whilst still yes i think six six is a very convincing score on the ct side this would be what four rounds in a row lost five rounds something in that margin that's that's hard to to bounce back from going into the second half even with the break in the intermission but Bai is still missing a couple of things. Head armor is non-existent, which, you know, makes sense. But neither are kits. This team has been playing for retakes a lot, Maybe and they won't one. be doing it wow. this round. Again, they're going to go back into canals. They saw a lot of emphasis on this, or at least potential in the past couple of rounds. Looking. Now they're going to use it. He's not looking, as you said. Misses the first shot, and Melo can't step up for more than the one. Big name to claim. That up on the floor is going to be a pretty decent difference make for Poseidon not having one for the first time in a while in terms of the gun rounds. To head nifty hasn't had the greatest of luck but still utilities running low the late round is going to be a pressing matter and you mentioned not having any kits and that is going to come back to bite them well and truly they're already ready to make their incursion onto this b-bomb saying while they do have two players here can they be flushed out into the open and fought with only one molotov and one smoke they drop it be a good enough delay Poseidon, he's gonna have to go pretty far wide in order to expel it Eventually, they'll actually give him the opportunity to make his way out. Pain smokes off his left side. This pillar is now a safe haven for the time being. They can't really know how close might have actually gotten to them, but Dance is forcing them back in mid and keeping the pressure on elsewhere to make a little bit of the pressure alleviated. They've at least bought time for rotations to come through this time, so there's going to be an extra person here, Grape. But. Only 30 seconds. There, There is a world where they reroute. Wait, no, there's not. Because this bomb's going to be spotted on the cross. Whether this kill comes through or not, and it, it just has. Round's done. There's literally no way Limitless can go on to win this. The bomb is too far away. All they have to do is stay alive or run away. If, this, if I'm Grape here, there's no reason to fight. Poseidon comes away with the duel, so no worries whatsoever. But Limitless I mean, was still a little worrying in the end.
So far, we've seen a pretty tasteful blend out of Limitless. However, doesn't mean that it's going to have a great aftertaste. They still have to finish it well with only a two-round advantage. They hop onto what's considered the side of favoritism against Might, who have at least bounced back from yesterday, but still having a lot of the same issues, and Limitless have been exploiting them. See if they can continue to do so when the script is turned on its head. Now onto this attack, and Grape holds all of the pieces to this round on his belt. Not two, but one man to set pace for eight. As they get closer and closer, it's a quiet creep. Just a little bit of a foot bath before we get through. As not everybody is here. There's a lurker actually trying to cut off anybody from mid or B. At the end, that's mellow. In they go. Heaven will be smoked, vision will be denied, and a Molotov to flush anybody directly placed inside oh. the site out. And that smoke actually, I think it hit his body. It might have hit his body. Yep. That or it just missed the mark. But the shots I'm are going to sure hit theirs. I'm not sure if that was like an intentionally blocked smoke or what, oh. but now Scar, I mean, you might as well go for it, but even with the creativity out of might, I'm, I'm, I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt and say it was intentional. Doesn't seem like it's gotten him that far. Scar's turned it around from yesterday. He was having a pretty poor performance versus NRG, but here he's he's looking sharp. 11 kills to his name, but unfortunately, it's uh, it's kind of overshadowed by how good Limitless have looked on the flip side. Another pistol to add to the already impressive resume, too. Keeps Mike down in the dumps. EJ and Scar really doing all that they can right now and those are two players that we've seen and said previously have a really good resume of being able to be those players to be x factors every now and then unexpectedly so even still when they do show up there's not really a whole lot of excuses otherwise as to how the pieces aren't fitting into the puzzle Fast flashes are good to get Grape up close in proximity to this B site. With nobody actually directly able to stop him other than Dance with a singular P250, I believe it was. Everybody else is looking worse off than he is. They've got the stock pistols in their arsenal. It's a grouped up attempt to try to get in through Temple Sai, but as that smoke hits the floor, they're just going to be running right into the SMG more likely than not if they want to pop. And this is, again, this is just desperation, really. It's only pistols, shores with the end of the day. It wasn't like it's not, not like it was going to be a one run anyway, but... One thing you didn't exactly want is three kills being given to the MAC-10. That's just some bonus cash that Limitless didn't really need all that much of. So, honestly, if you're Might, you should thank Poseidon a little bit because he stole some kills away. Meanie. But bro -ace. You like my new word? I learned that one recently. <clears throat> Which word was it? Well, not word, but term. bro -ace. Oh, yeah. Recently. Yeah. Good one. Gotta throw that in there. Wise, wise man once said. Waste. Wise got this utility say. far enough away to where it won't be her, but it'll be actually. Oh, wait. Oh. Okay, well, I mean, surely might have an understanding of what this might mean. Either a pop through or a lurk smoke for a singular player, as they do get close enough to it to where the bomb is almost entirely committed. It's early enough into the round where he could double back, but. That should be a pretty good read for them to send themselves into the site after it fades, because they've gotten only two players playing much more passively than anything else, and Dangerous is easy to the pinch. To be a little bit of a constrained B site. Hold the scar isn't able to get his actually ah. a double, a straight tank, and a follow-up line. The snakes can now just play this absolute perfection has scar, and everyone else will fall immediately after the fact. And that is a Really unfortunate turn of events for Limitless in a round that could have been, honestly have gone the other way if Scar wasn't yep. as on point as he's been. I mean, that, Scar, he made the best out of a bad situation there for sure, but it also kind of feels like Limitless were off a beat from one another. When that flash comes through, yeah, but the first kill Scar finds is completely unblind whatsoever. Like, the, the run, they run through the smoke, he gets the first kill. Second, you know, that's, that's been unpredictable but the fact is the flash is just a little bit too late so he gets the opportunity to shut down the the, the take the push the whole site exec before it can even really start to form itself one small error and scar makes the most of it blows it up Right? Well, dude, I love that nade. I love that utility on Anubis. It's some of my favorite in the game. Yeah. Fun. 
A lot of fun utility on this map. Speaking of which, not so fun as a blind snake. Now tucked into the left side corner. Should be easily traded out by Poseidon, who's still stuck in Tide's E-Box. And as he does get one shot out, desperately attempting to get into this. Yeah. Will. Not get too hasty now, though, 4v4. That's going to be a huge buff for the side of Limitless now to be able to body up and take their space as they please. The CTs needing to oh. really spread their defenses is... Got E-Box back. Oh, they haven't the Molotov. It's gone a little bit too yeah. wide. That's that's a problem. They've used up a lot of counter utility on hoping that they could gain connector control so they can further stop them from coming into this B site. But now it's a bit abysmal. So the backup plan, Dan's and Co. take some Whoa. space through A and they aren't ready. Poseidon doesn't even know where he got shot from. I mean, he can make an inference, but... It's all a guess, really. And there's still two people defending B. It's not like it's been weakened up. But even this bait is sick. I wonder if they expect this. Nifty. Not entirely uncommon. And yeah, they're more than ready. And look at this flank coming through Palace. This is all a game of time. If they, if Nifty doesn't turn around in the next two seconds, it's done. And someone suspects something like this to come through. But there's just so many angles to worry about that you can't get the better of it. It's flankers outflanking each other. And the ones for might come far too late. That bomb plan is ridiculous. You're not beating it. And now that they know Dan is on the prowl in B main, uh -huh. there's no way you get back in. Mello had a hard way of getting out of that duel and knowing that there could be somebody CT it was a difficult task, but Dance now with more to do as DJ's done his. He's gotten the one into the retake. A little bit more would be even better. Molotov forcing one out into the open as Dance will fall. You now know? DJ's got a lot left onto his plate. Flash is great. Grape hears it though, turns. DJ only has one bullet. Life and death. Oh. Grape's going to make it look that much better with a headshot to collect. Ten. And they get themselves back into this one, which looked like it was almost a done dusted round it was a 4v3 with limitless losing poseidon and ebox and knowing that a main was clear they had to snap into b but they do it with perfect timing waiting for that mid player that was so scary too again from limitless because they didn't know that the last player was low hp you saw grape aim for the head he was he was going for a headshot he kills him with a headshot and it's a it's a really minor attention to detail piece but the thing is that was way scarier than it had to be because of that fact if the first shot misses there's a legitimate chance that might come back to steal that round but now they're on the precipice of dropping this map and it's no surprise to see them take a pause they've really got to figure this one out because they are running out of ground to stand on and this may be one of your last well put together buys and even then it's missing pieces we haven't seen an op on nifty in fact we haven't even seen him on an m4 if memory serves correctly oh no Round and now with a little bit more time, might, 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 may have what it takes to be able to at least bully some map control and try and catch them off guard. As mid looks to be where they like to set themselves down, it's great damage inflicted onto Grape and DJ. Already done pretty much all that he can in the early stages of this round, is gonna put this in a kind of fragile state now to kind of really brain out how they want to go about this round as the in-game leader of Grape starts to send that utility. It's still not the most worrying for Limitless, but even so, it's going to be something in the back of his mind as he makes this call. Maybe it's a slow bit. call, or slow crawl for them, rather. DJ removed from mid for now. Did the Grape see him? No, he didn't. So it's spammed through the smoke that goes one way and then back for a kill. So much damage on Grape and Doom combined, but now the A players have to finish the food and they won't be eating either. Stands in Nifty with lackluster weaponry. The first kill goes against him and look at all of the low health bars. Doom on 12, Grape 21, Poseidon on 5, but there's just so much power out of this limitless push. Might can't even think but to save. It's going to be a painful round to have to swallow. Or might. They put everything into this one. The loss bonus might be accumulating, but the money left into their pockets in addition to that is not going to be enough to put them in good enough standing. Will they really even have an opportunity to buy after the fact? It'll be a full buy against 12 to 6 if they go for what is effectively a full save. Terrorists win. And then... I'm not really entirely sure that that'll be well worth their time on a map like this. Anubis already known to be relatively T-sided in team play. 
fell short on their attacks in half by two. Now, much more dire straits. I'm just loving this out of Limitless, man. I'm uh -huh. thoroughly surprised with how this has gone. I mean, even biased, come on, come on. You knew, uh -huh. you knew the reason you picked them was because of it. Uh -huh. But still, they're keeping might on their toes too. I'm liking this off the start. It's a, it's a different pi picture that they're painting here. The default split. Normally, it feels like they've been a very uh, off spawn esque team, but it's might trying to find the first info. Scar's already taken mid. Smoke thrown down, and he's just gonna hide behind the doors with DJ in coercion with him. In fact, it's actually just utility exchange. I think he's gonna get flashed into mid. Yeah. Could be big space to take if you're Scar, but you've got to actually exploit off of it. There's somewhat of a big play going on, I believe, here with that smoke in con. They're going to peek with not only Scar, but I think Snakes too. Nah. They call it off, start to shift back into the sights, and play pretty bare bones. Jiggling basic angles, waiting for Limitless to make the first move, and it's a stalemate so far that eventually might have to break through. 5-7 up close. And not so personal yet. He hasn't really gotten to know any of these Limitless players in time. As Mello goes on a limp. Check out E main, which has been dry for quite some time. Finds a kill and finds them one over towards A. Just the same as Dane has gotten them two areas that they'd like to slot in. And now they've got lay of all of the map. There's no single place they haven't found a kill at this stage in time. And Dane's even going to send great packing. That was my 3k... What are you doing? Dude. This is the perfect storm. The perfect formula. Coming in in the pregame, we talked about, yeah, Poseidon's great and all, but who's next in line? Well, you look at Dane, you look at Great. The two experienced, or at least most experienced members of the bunch. And look at who's come to play. And apparently, almost nobody on Might has. Dan's the usual guy. He's nowhere to be found. Scar's having one hell of a game, and so is DJ, but this turn of events from yesterday isn't doing them very much. And Limitless are going to stick with what's working. The I'll default crawl. setup. Sit in water, Dane, waiting for the push to come through that Nifty's eager to give. No, he'll just post. And again, it's so awkward. Neither of them want to commit to the duel. Now Nifty decides it's time to shine. Starts walking into the canals, oh, but timing doesn't favor him. And now Dane may have a 2k lined up if Dan swings in. He's ready, but not ready enough to lock in the kill. It's damage back and forth, but a massive advantage for Limitless to extend on with Amali and Khan. Dance is not there to be able to help Nifty out on that walkthrough. There's an easy swing to be seen, and Dangerous is never going to miss a sitter like that. It's Nifty already dispatched of 2 and 14 to what could potentially be the end of this map in the first best of one of two. This is a great look, but damage exchange. It's Dane and Poseidon still not all too healthy, but this B site's looking like it could crumble at the snap of your fingers. A castle made of sand really puffing up their chests, trying to make it seem like there's more this than they believe. As there is a rotate to come back eventually, the gun barrel of Scar is known, so Doom can just call to his teammates. Guys, let's pop into the site. Be ready for him to be here, as I'm going to be able to take him out if he doesn't take the duel with you. Great. He's already through. He's already on the back foot. Scar is made known. Yeah. He does not turn. He does not waver, but there's still one tuck. But DJ is going to be shot to the side of him at any time now. And Grape has gotten them their opener into the site. Things could not look more dire as Dance. A 1v4? I'd like to see that. Not even his weapon of choice, man. He's been absent all game. This is where you need to see him. The health keeps dwindling, it just keeps tumbling down. And the nade continuing to confirm. They know he's here. It's. Not looking great for him. Not pretty whatsoever. The AWP, a couple of shots rattled into Wild Blue, and nobody decides to give him a peek. Nice shot out of Poseidon. The AWPer falls to his own weapon. However, it's still the map for Limitless in convincing fashion. 13-6. They don't give any breathing room. Listen, I'm, I'm not going to say I'm not gonna say anything. All I'm going to say is one of the two right. casters in the desk were right in their predictions, go, and that caster's name...